What a wonderful night of Greyhound Racing and Raiders Guide for Tasmania. So dominant in the Rookie Rebel. Last of them in. Lucky last on Cup Night. The green light. Set to run now. Favourite box two. Stormy Day. Set. And away. Stormy Day only fair to go. And Gary Stun on one the start. He's going to speed through and lead. Stormy Day who squeezes up alongside. There's not much room there. Tick along flyer makes the line of three and now claims the lead. They're being followed by Bunstorm running on with Kenya Jackal. They're really tight down the back. About three lengths away to Heffern and Bale at the end of the field. Fitzroy Bale and Feel and Tubman up to the bend. Tick along flyer stuck away. Stormy Day's closing. So is Bunstorm. Bunstorm, the one with momentum, flashed up, grabbed the lead and won it. Bun Storm, a big win from off the speed. Drew Clear won it by a length beating Tick Along Flyer. Stormy Day an unlucky third. There wasn't much room when the door was closing. Then Heffern and Bale from Gary Stun on Fitzroy Bale and Feel and Tubman last in. And the last race they go 30 and 14. Well, what a night for the Daily Kennel. Bunstorm goes home the better and takes out the last on Australian Cup final night. 5.50 and 1.90. Tig along flyers run out of its skin in second. $5 and $1.10 Stormy Day. The door just kept on shutting for Stormy Day there in the straight, unfortunately getting back into third place. But Eth, it was a great win in the end to Bunstorm just in the clear running. Yeah, and as we touched on before, the race ever improving out of the right sire and, yeah, yet to miss a placing in 10 now and... Uh, she's the best out of that litter and she's just going to keep getting better, I think. Yeah, it's just got better and better. What a night it's been for the dailies. <laughs> like, yeah. Just reflect on that. I know it's been a huge night of Group 1 chasing, but they've had an absolute belter and Bun Storm added to the list here, Patch, but what did you make of that win? Overcame a bit of trouble there throughout. Superb. I was just about to interrupt you, Dan, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll let him go and finish his sentence. because she, she She got <laughs> castled early on. She never was able to sort of gain her balance and, and get going but when she did boy can she go all right so you mentioned the sire again Ethan we've, we've spoken about it all evening and the the dailies knack and experience and expertise to be able to breed their own from left field sires and dams and be able to produce good greyhounds on the run so yeah top win from her and we heard a lot of confidence from connections pre-race didn't we yeah. with Cole Brett with Gary Stun on Jason Sharp with Stormy Day it was a good running defeat yeah. and as well with Tom Daly and Bun Storm who said you should run well and that's what we got no exactly and Stormy Day I mean watch out for next start because there was nothing but trouble there I think from the back straight right to the pretty much the winning post as well just never got out Ethan. yeah absolutely luckless um just when it looked like it was going to push through and lead coming around the bend. <laughs> Just got squeezed up for room from Tigalong Flyer, who appeared out of nowhere and um, squeezed him in between and Gary Stun on as well. So made it a bit hard for him, but forgive him. He, uh, he normally leads from the front and he was still fighting on very hard. He got closed up for room with about 50 metres to go again. So keep following him. Yeah, fine. and I think most importantly what I took from the comments from Jason Sharp pre-race, I mean... Stormy Day broke in faster than what Morton did. He was awesome his last start at Sandia, but prior to that, his form was patchy, wasn't it? Yeah, so, it was patchy. Um, the, the, the couple runs that Geelong he had before Sandown, leading up to the specific Sandown run, were really impressive. So he, he's now put together three or four really good runs that I think he can hang his hat on. And, you know, Sandown wasn't a fluke. I think you'll see that more often with him. Um, look, didn't get the lead on his own tonight, which probably didn't help. He got bumped from here to there, but um, no, he'll come back. He'll be winning races. Yeah, indeed. The confidence was yeah, pretty severe, Double. wasn't it? It was a good yeah. run in the feet, and if he thinks the penny's dropped, and we're going to see the best of him, watch out. Definitely a black booker out of tonight's meeting, that's for sure. Stormy Day taking us out from what has been a fantastic night, a great conclusion to the Australian Cup Carnival for 2024. It's hard to believe it's already finished now that we get to the end of it, boys. But let's just reflect on the night before we wrap things up because it has just been a bell tonight for chasing in general. And the Group 1s will start off with the Rookie Rebel. What were our thoughts there? Fantastic edition, fantastic 2024 edition. I need to stop talking. So, Patch, please take the reins. Well, yeah, I was... <laughs> I'm not going to do much. I'm going to do up. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. I can't even it's speak. It's been a English. long three weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been a long night. I'm <laughs> stuffed. Um, no, nah, Raiders Guide was huge. And I think, speaking off record to Corey Smith just before, Brendan Purcell, who actually has Raiders Guide staying with him, said that box eight was probably being a, a good thing for him. And yeah. it played out that way. It began well. He hooked around the field. And Ethan, not only to do that in that sort of field is huge effort in itself but the time that he's set red hot as well yeah absolutely i mean we, we talked to his ability before the race but it, it, it's one thing having the ability and actually being able to show it as well and to show it on the big stage is the biggest of big tests you know so um for brendan purcell to have that confidence beforehand i wish we had have known that i would have put <laughs> yeah, it a little bit nice. higher up on my pecking order but <laughs> all honors and yeah rookie rebel goes to the apple isle congratulations to them 
And the Fantabao stay is now Palawa King. He just continues to deliver on the big stage, on any stage. He is here for the public. They absolutely love him. Yeah, I think there was bigger stories um, from out, uh, throughout the feature race winners yes. tonight, particularly Tim yep. Zhu, but from a pure performance in his race. I mean, yeah. that was special. Yeah. To see what we've got from him last week, that hip and shoulder to, to break the gap open. And again tonight, Ethan, although it wasn't a hip and shoulder, he put the brakes on, but in a very good way, how he knew that is what he had to do to get the run to win the race. Well, standing on the corner here, it just looked like he showed fantastic race sense. He looked like he's, and you know, he is, but he looked like he's just a dog that's done it plenty of times before. He's found himself in those tricky situations, but he manages to find a way to find a run and win. And it doesn't matter how far back he finds himself or what situation he finds himself in, he finds a way to win. Yeah, and you could hear the punters behind us. I think that's what I've taken from the last two weeks in particular. I know he's been around for a while. I know he's a fantastic dog, but the last two weeks in general, it's like a different vibe and everyone's gotten behind him. The punters behind us were going nuts Yeah, I think uh, you, got, you boys will agree with this. Because he's beginning worse, yeah. he's a more likeable dog, yep. isn't yeah. he? It's a gentleman behind here who might be back below a king and he... Certainly happy with his work. He's shaking his oh, head. Maybe he did Not it. happy. No. <laughs> but a big week for the King. That's on you, Patch. New South Wales starter of the year. Another group one under his belt. And he's got a big 2024 yeah. ahead of him as well. I mean, he's just turned three. Yeah. I feel yeah. like he's been around forever. He's mm -hmm. just turned three. Yeah, no, absolutely. He's definitely got more to come. Now, also, the Australian Cup final, so the feature tonight. Team Thompson, they finally get the job done in the Australian Cup and a family affair with all the kids, all the family and their mates involved as well. So not a bad way to do it there with Tim Zhu, and he got the job done nicely as well. Yeah, indeed. I mean, there's a stack of elements behind that story. We heard yeah. uh, Holly post-race and her share. She's dedicated to her, her newborn son, and I know there's other members of that Tim Zhu ownership group, and I think a couple of them might be involved for the first time. Yeah. So as first-time owners, to pick up an Australian Cup's quite incredible. Yeah, it was a fantastic win. Of the three features, Eth, mm. you had to pick which one was your favourite win of the night. May not have been the best performance. It could have been the story. I think I, I, I'm very just... I love the race for the race. Yeah. Um, the, the, the stories of the connections are obviously fabulous and they're fantastic, but I'm a real purist for the race and seeing Palawai King just do yeah. what he does in, in full flight... It's hard not to love, isn't it? So f for me, the highlight is, and it pains me to say it as a Victorian, it was a New South Wales dog. <laughs> Patch, yours? Yeah, Palawa King. Yeah. I mean, as a pure, yeah, as you said, see the race for the race. To be entertained by him is just the purest form of, of greyhound racing and why we love the game so much. And stays that get back run on, there's um, been some iconic ones over the years and in this period of time right now, Palawa King's in. And just the last two weeks alone, no doubt he's brought a few new fans to the sport as well. And hopefully some of the people out here, Trackside, are, are going to stick in it for the long haul and hopefully go and see Palawa King run again. Yeah, that's important too. I think if, if a lot of people, and we've probably all got mates like it, yep. who have a bet, win, lose or draw, they walk away and really only have the results stuck in their minds. Yeah, exactly. But when you're yep. back one like him, who races in that sort of nature, you don't forget his name. No, exactly. And we certainly won't. Palawa King out of the Australian Cup Carnival for 2024. Well, that sees us out. It's time to get near a heater because, my God, does Melbourne like to turn on the cold once it gets past 8 p.m. And crickets it? flying in the air. I haven't seen any tonight. I think Not as bad as last week. Fumigated before tonight. Fantastic effort. But thanks so much to our guys in the truck for putting on a fantastic show and all of our guys back in the Sky Racing studios as well for a fantastic production. We hope you've been able to find plenty of winners. Patch, great to join you as always for the last couple of weeks. Eth, awesome job tonight. Fantastic to get you back on the coverage. So hopefully we'll get you guys back on in the next couple of weeks, months, racing yeah, rolls on. You'll be back. I'll be back. I and may, yeah. You? I don't know. Ask Kat Ernst. When she does return, we'll find out more. <laughs> no. So stay tuned. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Hope you found plenty of winners, and we'll see you next time.